This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Last time I built a shredder. It worked and actually really well. But there was a problem. Actually not in the shredder itself, but from the power transmission. The power to the shredder was not transmitted properly. The gearbox failed. At this point, the shredder was good salad chopper, but it didn't handle stronger materials. Also there was too less power. I ran the whole thing with only one 775 DC motor. This time I'm going to fix both of those problems and hopefully it unlocks the full potential of my shredder. This is the gearbox that I used in the last video. The gears are printed with ABS and for total here is 1 to 81 gear ratio. And this will be my new gearbox with a total of 1 to 162 gear ratio. Those gears are printed with my super fast Pambulab X1. I tried to keep the printing process as short as possible. So one gear took me around 4 hours to print. Those gears walls are 5 layers thick and have 20% of infill and they are printed with PLA. Also to prevent the gears from slipping again, first of all I increased the module, or easier way to say it, the gears are now bigger. Like I can cover the last gearbox with one gear. Second, those gears are now herringbone gears, not regular spur gears. The gearbox itself is really easy to build. All we need is gears, of course, bottom top housing and two 8mm shafts. I just simply installed the gears to the shaft in the right order. Then place them to the bottom half of the housing. Next, top half of the housing and this top half holds also those gears nice and strongly in place. For this I use some 4mm bolts. By the way, those housings have one problem. I use absolute disaster shit unbranded filament. Because it was shit. And just look at it. I'm so sure they will fail. At least the bot half. Top half is printed with quality filament because I did little oopsie doopsie and luckily I ran out of it. Anyway, for now, the gearbox is ready. Last time I used only one 775 DC motor to run the gearbox. This time I plan to use two 895 motors, but then I was thinking, why I'm not going to use my four 775 motor, di motor gearbox? And this is exactly what I did. So I printed one gear for the 775 DC motor that will move the rest of the gearbox. By the way, one little fact, I told before that gearbox has 1 to 162 gear ratio. Actually, it's not completely true. The gearbox has 1 to 81 gear ratio, but, the, but this gearbox also has 1 to 2 gear ratio, so the total gear ratio is 1 to 162. And for now everything seems to be okay, so let's give it a quick test. It works, everything is spinning, but small little problem. The 4 motor gearbox cannot move back, but it can move forward. To fix this, I just place something in front of it. And now it's ok. First I'm trying to shred an aluminium can. I fired up the shredder and... Didn't work, it break. Exactly as I expected. So there is nothing else to do to print another one. This time of course I'm using high quality filament. The same one with the shredder is printed. And I also tweak some printing settings. Now this is almost 100% infill. Almost. Anyway I disassembled and assembled everything again. I did it off camera because one minute ago I did it on camera so you are probably not interested. I also printed the top part with the stronger printing settings. Just to not fail again. So let's do it again. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay is known for making PCBs at the low prices. But did you also know that PCBWay has excellent 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding service. Using this is simple as it can be. First upload your 3D model, select the material and they have huge option of this, you can even order 3D printed metal parts. Then you can choose the color or any specific settings for your need. I have ordered things from PCB Way many many times and they have always done absolutely excellent work. Also for this project I ordered an acrylic lead for the gearbox and it's absolutely perfect. If you need something that requires fancy and expensive machines or skills you don't have, just order your needed parts from PCB Way. PCB Way is your one stop solution. But for now let's continue with the project. This can almost get through but the top which is way stronger than the rest of the can didn't go through. But this is even more interesting where it failed. The big output gear literally snapped in half. Almost. In my channel history I haven't seen this type of fail ever. 
But for now I 3D printed new gear with my Bamboo Lab X1 and I used 100% of infill. Thankfully this printer is so fast it took me only 6 hours to print. After disassemble and reassembling I'm good to go. Let's do the exactly same thing again. Albert Einstein described insanity as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I figured that I'm not insane. The whatever break is fixed and I'm not going to do the can test right now. I shred something else and then later I do it again. I know I cannot help myself. So I'm quiet for a second and enjoy. So far everything made through the shredder without any major problems. It struggled a bit with the last thing, the 3D printed lead that I used for the gearbox at the really beginning. But the shredder and gearbox is still in one piece and it's time to change that. I'm going to do the can test again because I have to, so you know what's going to happen. So let's do it. And again it got stuck, but nothing didn't break. Right now the problem is input gear. I lost the contact with the first gear of the gearbox. I reversed the shredder a bit and then tried again. But at the same time I'm pushing the input gear to the other gear with my hand for the better contact. And... Holy shit. It happened. The gun is completely destroyed. At this point I don't know if I was just lucky or it's repeatable. So of course I tried again. Multiple times. I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you won't do Well I'ma make hell of shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie to my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in dead Been stabbed in the back, but I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action Like we just saw, the shredder is now a shredder, not just a salad chopper. I successfully shred 20 aluminum cans. In the last video the shredder was capable of doing something like this. But this time, my first attempt, my second attempt, this is the third that almost get through, and this is my fourth attempt. After redesigning, re-slicing, reprinting, and multiple times this and reassembling the shredder. Those cans are completely broken. 
and after 20 cans the shredder itself is completely fine and functional. The blades have some minor dents and scratches but overall they are still at a really good shape. Gearbox is also fine except the input gear. This has some nice amount of wear, but this is easy to avoid by using some lubrication. I didn't use any lubrication because I'm recording the video indoors and my room will be ruined if the grease fly everywhere. But anyway, big thanks for watching and see you guys with a new project really soon. Bye.